Hello, best friends, and thank you for joining me for another Clash of Lords 2 video today. Thank you. All right, people, that was your daily tunage brought to you by me, Simply Unholy. Okay, we are not going to collect this reward yet. Stay tuned on my channel. I will also have an extravaganza coming up right now after this video is done but for this video if the title isn't giving it away already i am doing something that some of you will think is insane some of you will think i am downright crazy all right i'm doing the unthinkable today people i am doing something i'm confident enough in knowing that a lot of you guys don't do or Maybe any of you do. Maybe I'm the only one who does this, but we're doing it. I am embracing, let me repeat that, I am embracing Deadeye, aka greatest of all time. Let me show you what I mean right now. Look, let's scroll down. Do you see that right there? Yeah, that, that's right there, right there, right there. Yeah, I got a Deadeye all the way to 120, and you guys are probably freaking out right now, and holy, why would you... Why would you waste that? Why would you level up a dead eye? That is such a waste, and I'm gonna tell you, it's not a waste. It is not a waste. Let me explain why I did this and the purpose of this. Okay, so basically, I like to be different from other people. I don't like, I just like to be my own person, individual, just always doing things differently than most people do it. I know that's a little hard to do, but like I like to be original is basically what I mean. I like to be original. All right. That's fair enough. So everyone else is leveling up 120 coral eggs. I mean, I did that all the time. It's, okay. I got my new 120 coral egg ready for my new Epic. Whenever I get it from my extravaganzas. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. But there's no need. Actually, it's, better this way what I'm doing because it doesn't matter to level up a core leg you can level up a purple a blue a green or a gold egg to 120 it doesn't have to be coral the fact of the matter is it's 21 or 120 not 21 excuse me okay the fact of the matter is you get it up to 120 and when you get it up to 120 then you can give it to the new epic that you're getting or a new hero that you want instantly boost to 120, you know? For me, whenever I get Renee Venn, bow, 120. But, like, it don't... It doesn't have to be a Coral Egg. So, it's the same principle with Deadeye. You can level up any hero you want and use that as a sacrifice for your new epic. And the bonus of doing it with a hero is I can bring Deadeye into Ancient Relic. An Ancient Relic, as well as feeding him, and by feeding I mean sacrificing like other heroes to him, as well as doing that, I also get the experience from playing an Ancient Relic. Like when you're done with Ancient Relic and you're like all out of heroes, or if you made it all the way to the end, you can like, you know, either get your battle summary or end the run, and then you get experience, and that'll boost up Deadeye's level. So as well as giving him, like, eggs, he also gets experience from playing on my team. And that'll make leveling him up to 120 way faster. Every day you bring in that hero to Ancient Relic, he'll shoot up to 120 no problem. And you cannot do that with a Coral Egg or any egg. You cannot bring an egg into Ancient Relic and level it up. So, trust me... Try it out with a hero. This is just what I did, and I love that I did this. Now, oh, as you saw, he's got a little sword icon right there, meaning he's on my team right now. Well, he's not on the map, but what means, <laughs> what means, we're going to level this up real quick. <laughs> okay, just get it up to until I have 4 million. There we go. We'll do that for now. What that means is we're going to take them in to Guild Clash right now. We're doing this. I Don't try to stop me. Don't try to stop me. I know you're trying right now. Don't do it. 
Don't need, no need to stop me. We're, we're going. This is happening right now. Um, 64, 64. Okay, who else can I attack? Who's an easy peasy guy? Yeah, let's look at those 64s right, real quick. Let's just check out both of them and decide who we want. And you guys can see how I think. All right, so this guy... Instantly, he has the Pan Goalie Sniper Towers. That's an issue. But as well as that, he has Arctic Lord Reapers. Those are two negatives. But let's see his heroes. 120, 127, 143, and a 128 Pan Goalie, 128 Abyss Demon. Okay. So he's got a nice level Pan and an amazing level Pounder. So we're going to check out the other guy real quick. And see if this guy is easier for me. I take these same principles into Lords League too. Alright, so instantly you see it's a 122 pounder. That is a big difference. But he still has Arctic Lord and Pangoli upgraded um, defenses. But he has a Reaper. Not a Reaper. A Victory Statue that's under construction. And one, two, three, four, five, six. He has six Reapers. Or am I reading this wrong? No, he has five Reapers. So that means six Arctic Lords I'm going to have to fight. I do not like that. I really do not like that. Because the other guy only had four. Okay. Oh, let's check out Luffy real quick. Luffy. I'd rather attack Luffy. I don't care if he has a once. And we're going to attack Luffy right now. We're going to go for damage. I way rather attack Luffy. He's got no, like, Pangoli or Arctic Lord defenses. Okay, I don't know what happened. That glitch right there. Let's attack him again. Come on. Come on. Pull through, Clash. Pull through. All right, pull through. Oh, man, so where should we attack? We should go for that pounder first, I think. We're going to face... All right, let's just go for it right here at the top. Okay, we give him some room, and then we drop everything else. Drop everything else. We're not going to instantly activate the chariot. Not yet. we got to wait until the heroes get closer, which is what they're doing right now. We see Pangoli and Pounder rushing up. Now we activate Chiron. And then we keep an eye on Pounder's health. We keep an eye on that because that's what's going to be depleting. And we want to know when to properly activate Divine Blood Cap. But hopefully in the meantime, we can get Pyro Pete up there. Pyro Pete, we just need a half bar of Rage. Half bar, we can activate the Chariot. Or not the Divine, but that. Okay, activate Divine for Pounder and activate Pyro Pete. Now we can go. Okay, so now we wait a few more seconds until there's 10 seconds for Chiron and Pyro Pete's Rage. All right, Pounder. Finally got his boost up now. All right, 10 for both of them. Well, 11 for Power Pete. But now we activate the Divine. And there we go. Deadeye, Blitz Bomber, back to back. Come on, we're going right now. Back to back. This squad is going. It is happening. The Deadeye. They are not ready for the Deadeye greatness. I do not think they're ready. Do you think they're ready? I don't think they're ready for the Deadeye onslaught. It is happening right before your eyes. Here is the first time you've ever seen it and probably the last time. Who knows? Maybe you'll try this strategy too. This would be awesome. Activate Chiron again. Okay. All right. We're going. We're going. This is happening. Keep going. Where is Deadeye? He's chilling back here with the chariot. Oh, man, and he's doing, he just did 5,000 to the town hall. 5,558, you saw that? Just blinking up, activate the chariot again, so he can uh, throw a huge meteor. There he goes, the meteor, or cannonball, <laughs> not a meteor, okay. He's not Isho. All right, so we're going to activate Pyro Pete again, so we can get those troops. There aren't any troops, oh, man, that was a waste. All right, go Blitz Bomber, go activate, and all right, Blitz Bomber is almost down. Blitz Bomber is almost down. Don't worry, Blitz Bomber, we got Deadeye on our team, so that pretty much saves us. He did 4,500 to that cannon right there. Activate the large cannonball again, and he just missed. Okay, no, he doesn't miss. It does surround damage. All right, this is looking pretty good, Luffy. I mean... 
I don't see no gumu gumu no. All right, man. Well, we're going. This is all dead eye. My team still alive, not losing a single member. We just took out one of their stronger defenses instead of going for those uh 64 who have uh those pangolis towers and those Arctic lords. Oh man, those Arctic lord reapers. You know I want them badly. We're gonna take out with the dead eye for the final blow. Okay, now he attacked a wall. Dead eye. He's attacking a wall, but that's cool. It's cool. We just took him out. 314 big ones for my guild. Awesome job. And of course we made it. Of course we all survived. Of course we won. And of course we got awesome points. Because we have Deadeye on the team. See, this is what I'm talking about, guys. That was an awesome attack right there. Hope you guys enjoyed that attack. Deadeye, you pulled through. I always had faith in you, buddy. All right, so that's pretty much today's video. Let me know, did you think that was awesome? Did you guys enjoy seeing me take in Deadeye in to Guild Clash? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm over here saying he's the greatest of all time. Now you guys can argue with me. You guys can argue with me. But uh, I was a fan of Blitz Bomber before Guild Clash. Whoa, did I just say that? I did, I did. I did not mean to say that. But it's the truth, alright? That's all I have to say for this video. Pretty much, try leveling up a hero that you've always loved, but you don't want to do it anymore because now people think it's uncool if you have, like, blue heroes or green heroes. Forget them. Do what you want to do. If you always wanted, like, an armored villain, get that armored villain up to 120. Once you have them at 120, then decide. Wait until you get some awesome epic. Boost that epic up to 120 with the Armored Villain. You get to enjoy him with you while you play uh, in the Ancient Relic. You guys can have a bond right there, you know? And then when it comes time, if you get that new hero, you can sacrifice them. Or maybe, just like me personally, you might grow too attached to that hero and want to keep him. I don't know. We'll see what happens in my extravaganza. Please stay tuned for the extravaganza video coming up next. And I guess this means we are on to the next one. Thank you for watching, people, and be right back.